happening here at home. A Rochester couple getting a huge surprise two months after getting married. Paula Tupman joins us now. And Paula, after their big day, they found out their wedding photographer had lost all of their precious pictures. How about that? The nerve of that, right? So first of all, I want you to know, Sandra, it is brisk out here. It's pretty chilly, but I think the adrenaline is going. I don't think this couple feels it at all. What they thought they were getting was kind of some do-over pictures, bride pictures, because their photographs had been lost. However, talk about love, mercy, and kindness this time of year. Petals upon the snow, a cake being lovingly decorated with woodland flowers and sprigs. The trappings of a beautiful winter wedding are being prepared in the courtyard of a rustic pavilion. Oh, there we go. Surrounded by a blanket of snow at Addison Oaks County Park in Leonard. It's the wedding day of Sarah and Joseph Manny. Because I want them a little bit melted too. Only they don't know it yet. What's going to happen? So we're going to have the bride and groom come blindfolded. We're going to have them over there for a ceremony where they actually originally got married, set them up in place, start the music from their ceremony, and unblindfold them right when it's time to go. Here's a photo of the original wedding in October. Same place, well, let's face it, different weather. I bought her a shawl to put over her shoulder so, so she's warm. So Caitlin, what if this was five degrees below? I would have brought a bigger shawl. <laughs> <laughs> I would have thought of it. A bigger shawl. <laughs> this is a snapshot. But the official wedding photos never happened because the original photographer lost them. So Caitlin Politan <laughs> of Kay Politan Photography in Rochester Hills stepped in and stepped up. She got locals to donate the cake, the flowers, the venue, and instead of doing makeup bridal shots, she is recreating an entire wedding as a gift. Why do this? Yes, I did it because I would never want it to happen to myself. She came to me a while ago and we were a little over her budget at the time and she ended up going with another photographer and unfortunately the photos didn't come through so she needs photos of her ceremony, the biggest part of your day. So now we're gonna capture that all over again for her. Go ahead and step down. No, 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 that's my fault. And after being horribly, horribly lost, the couple finally made it in. The bride and the groom blindfolded, walking in on cobblestones. And then, all of a sudden, the big surprise. This is so overwhelming. I just feel so much love and support from our family and friends and the photographer, Caitlin. And I'm just I'm so overwhelmed right now. Kind of recognize the feeling of this uh, brick because oh I paid gosh. a lot of attention to it, but it was amazing. I'm, I'm shocked. <laughs> you know, kind of hard to fool the groom, I guess, on that one. Listen, for this kind of good deed, we've got to give some shout outs. Uh, Northern Rustic did the tables. Mm -hmm. Flowers of the F Flores donated the flowers. Mm -hmm. Your Honey's Bakery did the cake. And Mother Nature did the wedding because, you know, the, did the weather rather. Because imagine, Sandra, had this just been two days ago, it might have been an entirely different story. But on a day like today, happy wife, happy life. Sandra, back to you. Oh, that is all that matters. And they look absolutely beautiful. Congratulations a second Thank time you. to them, Paula. Thank you so much. <laughs>